I've only been at Shell for two years, uh, but I've, uh, I've had the opportunity in two years to, uh, to get to see the, the depths uh, you know, the, of the relationship between Shell and ADB, um, which um, can you maybe and the next okay. So yeah, we've, we've been in business together for 25 years. Um, 1998 was the year where, when the, I don't, I don't remember the name, but the big, big foundation project for, for Shell, for Monter, um came into service. Trinity. Thank you. Trinity. Trinity was the name of the project. It came into service in 1998. I think the design started in 1992. And uh, it was about uh, totally transforming the plant. We had the same issue as Vitex. Uh, the plant was very manual, probably not uh, optimal, it could not sustain growth. And um, different solution though, uh, instead of moving the plant somewhere else, the plant was revamped and automatized. So um, that came with its challenges. Um, a lot of people here at ABB uh, worked on that project. And um, it was, yeah, it, it, was, it was a very, very impressive project. I wasn't there, obviously. And uh, we built uh, a manifold, uh, get into it, we, we got a uh, loop cell, uh, we got the process control system going, and, uh, and from, from, from there on, uh, we, we, we've been able to develop the plant. Um, and everybody at Shell was there at the time, and, and everybody I think at ABB was mm -hmm. there at the time, everybody's quite proud of that moment, uh, you know, I have four different people from ABB who came to me today saying, oh, <laughs> I was involved in the project back at the time, and it's the same at Monterre. Um, so, yeah, lots of shared memories, um, hence, hence the picture, it's a happy marriage. There was a breakup in the early 2000s, <laughs> like, like, like any marriage, uh, but uh, um, we, we got back into, uh, into business and we've, we've done a few projects uh, since then. We've had a lot of upgrades, we've developed new, uh, new blending units, and we're still working together. We've got a, a couple of very good projects going on right now. Um, and Next slide, please. So, is it working? Yeah. yeah. So, what we do at Shell, obviously, uh, um, we're part of the lubricants business. So, we do uh, lubricants oil for you know your your car engine, uh, as well as all sort of lubricants that you can do: gear oil, compressor oil, grease, hydraulic, etc., etc. We cover the the, the the entire range of um, of lubricants, which is very key to. Um, to the energy transition, um, lubricants help you know reduce CO two emissions from engines and uh, and so on. So um, that's lubricants is a, a very important part of the shell business. Uh, it's it's going to be a, a growth uh, a growth business for us. And uh, well, we like to say that we're number one. I don't know if the Castrol guys and everybody we <laughs> agree in the room, but our internal pep talk is that we're number one. Uh, we've, we've got we've got the source. Uh, we got lots of great products. Uh, we we tend to be. Uh, I think we like ABB. We're not cheap, but we're premium. Um, so that that's all the positioning. Uh, so that's why we, lo we know we like working with, <laughs> with each other. And uh, yeah, the the main industries that we're serving are. Uh, has it categorized? Um, yeah, we've got here. So yeah, we got fleet, we got construction, mining, power, agriculture, and general manufacturing. So we're really covering uh, a very wide um, range of different applications. And how we do that is uh, we've got 32 blending plants. So Monter is one of 32 blending plants in uh, in the world. It's a lot. I think Shell only has now five or six refineries in the world, but we have 32 blending plants, and that's because in the lubricants business, you need to be close, you know, you need to be local, you need to be close to your suppliers and your customers because logistical costs is, is big. So, um, lots of small plants, and Nanterre is, is a fairly small plant, I think it's only 10 hectares, uh, it's not that big, but it's the second biggest uh, blending plant in Europe for Shell, and probably on the top five um, across the industry, I would imagine, in Europe. And uh, this is what it looks like, um, very close to Paris. You can see La Défense, so it, it, it's great to be able to have uh, to, to work in a plant that close to Paris. Um, a, a fairly old plant, like all the Bricot plants, more than 100 years old. We got bombed during World War II. Um, so we, we, we're getting that legacy, um, and, and that's obviously part of the, of the fun of the Brownfield projects. In uh, 2021, we, we produced 150 million liters of uh, 
of oil. Uh, we only do loops now. In the past, we, we used to do breezes, but now we only do um, loops. And we serve uh, what we call the benefit market, so France, uh, Belgium, uh, and the Netherlands. Uh, but we're growing and starting to serve uh, Western Europe uh, as a general, more and more. How it works for us, um, that's the, the easy way of describing it, which is probably not going to be a surprise for, for those, you know, those of you in the room who, who are doing loops. Uh, we start by receiving raw material, um, either solid or, 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 or liquid. Uh, most of it is received in bulk by trucks or, 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 or through a, a barge. We're lucky to have the Seine River uh, next to us. Um, we put that into our, our raw material storage, so we've got about uh, 60, uh, 60 tanks for that. And then we do blending. Um, we, we have the, you know, all the ADB technology, or pre uh, most of the ADB technology, we've got ADB vessels and we've got SMB. Uh, SMB is doing the chunk of the work. Uh, it's, it's really for our big runners. It's delivered through SMB. It's very, very efficient. Uh, and we're starting also to have dedicated units uh, for, for products with uh, special characteristics that is segregated units. Uh, and once we've done the blending, uh, we put that into a finished product uh, bulk storage. So we've got a mix of dedicated tanks for that or swing tanks. Uh, swing tanks are where you can, you can put different products and you rinse between the products. Um, but that's your buffer. And then we've got the manifold, uh, which I, I'll come and talk um, uh, a bit later. That then connects, sends all that product to our filling lines. Uh, we can um, export the product in a, you know, in, in through either in bulk, so we put that in truck and goes to our customers or, or other factories, or in packs. So we're doing all sorts of packs. We're doing IBCs, drums, 20 liters, five liters. Um, yeah, and that's that's it. That's fairly simple. We don't do chemistry. We don't do anything particularly uh, complex. Uh, I think the, the complexity is. Uh, is just in getting the the, the, the dosing right, uh, which is which is what uh, what ABB is doing, uh, cleanliness and some special characteristic, but uh, yeah, no no chemistry involved. Um, so ABB ABB atmosphere. These slides um, are going to just share what what product from ABB we, we've got at Monter. So the, the main one uh, is is a process control system. So ABB is both providing the hardware and the software in that respect. So we've got all, uh, all the PLCs uh, and servers and workstations and, and all that technical, um, technical uh, material which is, which is here on the right. So fairly complex uh, um, uh, amount of kits. Uh, and, and the software bit is, is Loopcell. So Loopcell, which is the great thing which we've got in the plant that is not necessarily, you know, not all the plants have that, is we've got that one system that pretty much covers the entire plant and the entire operation, and that's uh, I think I think that's really good. That's uh, that's quite powerful. Um, so with loop cell, you can you know you can have automatic production. Uh, so we, we can just run the production automatically. We've got all our management. Um, we've got automatic. You know we've got we've got safeguards with. Uh, Hard protections. Uh, we also have alarms where it's just your fruit needs to react. So um, it's um, it's quite uh, um, fit for purpose, and it's been developed across the years. Uh, with you know Philips team, uh, we've been able to build and improve Lipsell together. So that they've done a very good job at listening to um, to our to our to our needs, and their ABD is really they understand not there as well, if not more than than ourselves. Um, <laughs> Second thing, uh, I mentioned it's a manifold. That like loop cell, it was installed in 1998. My understanding is that it's the biggest manifold. The first one and the biggest. Well, the, the other ones got a little bit uh, smaller, uh, more compact. Um, it's, uh, so you've got 16 lines, horizontal. They're all pig lines, uh, the horizontal lines. And you've got 74 vertical lines. Some of them are pig, some of them are dedicated. So I'll, I'll let you do the math in terms of how many connections uh, that, that creates. So the way it works is with the, the vertical lines that comes from our, um, our, store, our finished product storage tanks. So when the product is blended, it goes into a storage tank. And then uh, when we want to fill it, we send it. It, it will come from one of these uh, pipes. We will open the correct big valve and 
and, and, and that will send the product to the correct feeding line, one of 16 feeding, uh, feeding line connections. And so, loop cell is the brain of the factory, and that is a hurt, literally, that's the hurt of the factory. So it's a, it's a very important asset for us, it's our most important asset. Um, and it's 25 years old and it's still there. Uh, I think it's, uh, you know, it's starting to, um, to, yeah, to, to have its age, but it's still working fine. So now we need to look at asset integrity and make sure that these assets um, continue to age nicely. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's doing well. Um, I don't have pictures for that, but you've seen the SMB earlier, so uh, uh, ABB is providing both the, all the dosing technology, all the blending technology. We've got uh, also, um, we have DDU, so we've got two drum decanting units from ABB, and we've got some special uh, premix units. Um, so for, yeah, premix is when you, uh, you want to blend some of your products together before, before doing the main, the main batch. Uh, we use ABB, you know, we talked about EPC, so we, use, we, we work with ABB for process design. Uh, so most of our projects um, start with ABB, the conversation starts with ABB, we get together, and ABB will, uh, will help us um, define the process. And once we've got a good process, then we give it to our, to our other EPC, which is more about building the pipes and the building and the seawalls, etc., etc. But uh, we, we've got that, that, that really good uh, um, design, de de design thing going with, uh, with the uh, Celia team. And you can see on the right picture, that's, that's a picture from our latest project, the, uh, the Omana project, uh, which is just a nice maze of, <laughs> of piping, and you don't really see that well. But uh, yeah, that's quite a, you've got all the ADD kit, you've got valves, automated valves, you've got, uh, you've got uh, uh, a flow meter, etc., etc., and that's all controlled. So that's all been designed by ABV uh, in the design stage from, from a process design perspective, and, and then we add uh, it's controlled by loop cell. And, uh, and we get quite a lot of ADB kits in there as well. The other thing, and I think that's the last thing that um, that ABB is, is is doing for us is uh, on not on not on all our projects, but something that works quite well is uh, factory built units. Um, so whenever size allows, uh, we like like the DDU, we, we've got stuff where that have been built here, assembled here. Uh, and um, that we, we get really good uh, satisfaction out of it uh, compared to on-site uh, on fabrication. You get really good quality, you can test it in the factory. It's better from an HSC standpoint. Um, so, and I think that the future, especially when you get projects that really schedule constraints, you need to do your, your, your construction activities in parallel and not in sequence. So being able to do stuff in the factory is really good. Uh, and I think, I think that's the future already. So um, ABB is... Uh, is definitely a, a good partner in that respect. Let down the design, and, and here's the delivery. And it's a really nice piece of kit. Uh, 